give it to crew money, a chain game. Alexander Wang, who got it? I just said it all for you, watch it burn. Yeah, I'd rather watch it burn. Day two of Rally Finland in the top five covered by just 7.9 seconds. Nine stages to run and a long day ahead for the crews. Craig Breen, our overnight leader, clearly comfortable in that Hyundai straight out of the blocks. He went second fastest, just 0.2 seconds slower than the pace setter. The Irishman on good form, but he felt he could have gone a lot quicker on the day's opening test. I left so much time in there, honestly. I left five, eight seconds there very, very easily. Just just a dopey hesitation every so often where you just need to put the balls in the dash and just keep going. So uh, it was a nice run. I really, really enjoyed it and uh, race is on. One man who definitely understood the race was on was Elvin Evans, the Toyota driver able to maximise his performance on Saturday's opener. Absolutely on fire, taking the stage win and closing to within two seconds of Oik Tanak. I felt pretty good in places, yeah. Um, not, not perfect everywhere though. Um, but uh, generally the feeling is, is even a bit better than yesterday, I would say, on these wide roads. And yeah, the feeling is, is not bad. While one Toyota was flying, another was not. Takamoto Katsuta, who had such a strong start to the rally, went off the road on stage eight. A big sideways moment, and his Yaris ended up taking a trip into the Finnish undergrowth. His day was over. Further back, the M Sport Ford of Gus Greensmith leading the team and running a credible eighth overall just in front of his teammate Adrian Formo. Greensmith reasonably happy with his job so far, but admitting there is some work to do on his pace notes. Sebastian Ogier really struggling this weekend and the world champion downbeat. When you have no confidence in the car or the conditions, it's extremely difficult to get your head down and start pounding in hot times. And Ogier suffering from exactly that. Yeah, and for me, I don't know. I'm not fast for sure. I don't, I don't have the confidence to push. Up at the front, though, it was all change. Evans, 6.8 seconds quicker than Breen on stage eight. And with that, he took the rally lead. Toyota leading the charge, demoting Breen to second and Tanak down to third. A spectacular run from the Welshman, but as usual, he remained his calm self at the stage end. Yeah, it felt OK, but honestly not, uh, not perfect everywhere. There's a few places that I came in a bit, maybe too hot and then lost my line a little bit, but... Um, Okay. For local hero Kalirov and Pera, it hasn't been the best weekend and things were about to get a lot worse on the final stage of the morning loop. Running wide on this left-hander and clouting some rocks, his day was done. New stages in Rally Finland, testing both the drivers and co-drivers. Any cracks in the partnership shows up here and for Evans and Scott Martin, clearly they are the perfect team. Up at the front with a clean sweep of stage victory so far today, they return to midday service, leading by 5.6 seconds from Craig Breen's Hyundai. Into the afternoon loop, and Oit Tanak found a fresh turn of speed, ending Evans' winning spree on stage 11, and by the end of stage 12, he had passed his teammate Breen and moved up to second overall. Yeah, the grip is higher now and the car is easier to drive, so yeah, the, the feeling was for sure better, so we keep the pressure on them. With the light fading fast, Thierry Neuville's Rally Finland experience was about to come to an early end, at least for Saturday. Stage 14, he went off the road. He was able to continue briefly before parking his Hyundai i20. His day was over. Up at the front, the action was hotting up between Oit Tanak and Elvin Evans, but the Welshman stepped up his game to keep Tanak at bay, winning stage 14 and extending his rally lead. With just the Hayu Street stage left to run, Evans kept it all neat and tidy to finish the day, 9.1 seconds clear of Tanak in second, with Craig Breen closing out the top three. Yeah, it, uh, it's been a good day to be honest, you know, I uh, really enjoyed it out there. Um, it's been a, a great fight obviously, and. Uh, yeah, obviously still a long way to go tomorrow, but uh, we'll just take it stage by stage. Just one day and four stages remain here in Finland. Can Evans hang on for victory? Join us tomorrow to find out.